check in with Professor Jeff Stein to learn a little something about the state of Iowa. And we're talking a little music today, and this is very appropriate, Jeff, because coming up in just a couple of days, uh, the fourth annual Hinterland Music Festival is going to be going on just south of Des Moines. And we have thousands upon thousands of people down there, right, mm -hmm. Michelle? Yeah, he was like 11,000. Yeah, and like 20 some, before the weekend's yeah, over. For the yeah, the whole weekend. Yeah, so uh, we're talking music here this morning. Jeff, what about you? We will indeed talk about music, and yes, I'm already wondering why I drove into work today, so I can <laughs> oh. to uh, but We're glad you, look, you did. But we you look good, you though. Did. You look good. Well, you know, as long as you look good, that's the important thing. But, you know, you've talked about all of these people who are coming soon south of where you are. Well, let's really go on the Wayback Machine. New York had Woodstock. Iowa had Wadena. Now, that is a name that folks, if you're of a certain age, will remember. We had the Wadena Rock Festival, but it almost didn't happen, and we have Galena, Illinois, to thank for all of this. That's my neck of the woods, Galena. Well, they they kind of were a little stuck up in Galena because... Oh. <laughs> that explains yeah. a lot about Michelle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a happy accident here to learn that you're from that area. Well, here's what happened. Woodstock was in 1969, and there were some folks who wanted to have a Midwest rock festival, and they wanted to have it in Galena. But the city leaders of Galena blocked it. They said, we don't want you long-haired, dope-smoking <laughs> hippies coming to our neck of the woods. So they were rock blockers. <laughs> they, were, they were completely rock blockers. And so when they were blocked in Illinois, the organizers said, let's come across the river, and they found a site on a farm near Wadena, Iowa. Some 30,000 people attended that three-day music wow. festival in 1970. And coming as it did just a year after Woodstock, there were even some folks in Iowa not happy about the event. We have to concede it did include the open use of drugs and drug sales, and a fair amount of young people were skinny dipping in a pond because they had heard about Woodstock and wanted their own experience. Free love, free love, is that what they call that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lou, Lou might remember. I, I, I wasn't old <laughs> yeah, enough yeah, at don't, the don't time know, to, to know. <laughs> Listen to this guest list, though. These this is impressive. This was imp this yeah, is an I was impressive just guest at this list. Too. This is a great guest list. Johnny Winter, REO Speedwagon, Little Richard, Iowa's own Everly Brothers, and Mason Prophet were among those who performed. Now, that wow. is a wild, very wow. diverse list. Now, there were complaints about this and then went all the way to the Iowa governor, Robert Ray, who decided, and this is a classic Bob Ray story, by the way, he decided to see things for himself. So he flew in, choppered into the site on the first day, July 31st, looked around, and after being satisfied that adequate preparations had been made regarding health and safety, he simply told the kids to have a good time. Wow. Now, the reason that is interesting is that that all happened. Governor Ray going to the site and blessing the event, that happened after the Iowa Attorney General, another Republican, Richard Turner, had gotten an injunction signed by an Iowa Supreme Court justice to block the whole thing a few days before. But again, Bob Ray went up and said, looks good, you kids have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> That's why people loved him so much. <laughs> That's it. That is it. Very moderate in his tone. Well, those party goers, the 30,000, did not cause much trouble for the locals, but they did leave a fair amount of garbage behind that took a lot of cleaning up. That, very similar to Woodstock. The story surrounding the Wadena uh, Rock Festival was voted the top news story in Iowa that year by the Associated wow. Press. And the three-day Wadena Rock Festival began on this day, July 31st, back in 1970. Wow. Now, where is Wadena, Iowa, in, located in, in the, the state? In the scheme of things? Northeast. Northeast, Northeast part okay. of the state. Okay. okay. See, uh, see, Bob Ray just wanted to see Ario Speedwagon. That was his main thing. He wanted to meet Kevin Cronin. <laughs> I'm sure that was part of the deal. Wow. You know, in today's world, there would have been a selfie on Twitter. <laughs> I guess there would have been. Was there another festival the next year? 
No, they had it was a one and done. One it was and like done. Woodstock. One and done. It, okay, that's why people it was need like to... Woodstock, Michelle. It was a one and done. <laughs> one and that's done. why people know, need to go to Hinterland coming up this weekend down in St. Charles. You know, just about half an hour south of Des Moines, and you can experience you know a lot of people at a, in one location mm -hmm. with a lot of different great music. Nobody's blocking the music down there. I don't think it. they're skinny dipping in the pond or mm -hmm. selling yeah. drugs, hopefully, no. or any of that. But well, he had the they're gold package for he had the gold package for camping. Oh, we knew that. Right. We weren't sure what was included with that. He didn't. Tell us that. So, uh, that's right. <laughs> uh, well, if it does get to be, you know, 90 degrees on the weekend, the skinny dipping is optional. Yes. There you yes. go. All right. So, <laughs> again, so this is a big day music wise in the state of Iowa back in 1970. That's interesting. All right. So, if people want to go back and revisit what you just got done talking about and maybe use that in conversation today, how can they do so, Jeff? If you go to iowaalmanac.com, the whole story is there. And I put up a picture that I'm sure that you used as well showing some of the campsite. I mean, this is just amazing stuff. It's it was, at iowaalmanac.com. It was a mini Woodstock. It really was. It absolutely was. And it was the Midwest version of Woodstock because there were a lot of kids uh, who were just a little young to go to Woodstock or the travel was a problem. And so this brought people from all over the Midwest, and they still remember Wadena. And there's some wonderful websites that are up remembering what happened and it's hard to believe what 48 years ago wow. today maybe yeah just just looking at that just thinking i was i think i was nine <laughs> when that happened so <laughs> that just puts things in perspective and our speed wagon was around back wow then. so how about that, that? was the thing that surprised me because i was seven and I had no idea that REO was around, but apparently so. All right. There you have it. Oh, perfect. Okay. Good Sounds good. Thanks a lot, buddy. Have a good day. All right. See you guys. It is seven minutes past nine o'clock right now. Time to